What a massive comet discovery! Scientists have found evidence that a huge event thousands of years ago may have caused a climate shift that greatly affected the evolution of life on Earth. According to a new study, fragments of a large disintegrating comet struck Earth and triggered a massive firestorm some 12,800 years ago. The fires produced thick clouds of smoke and dust that covered the sky and cut off sunlight, causing the climate to cool rapidly and triggering a mini ice age. The cold climate lasted for a thousand years, killing off plants and many large animal species and causing human populations to decline. Researchers came up with the impact theory after examining samples from sites around the world with chemical signatures indicating that 10 percent of the land's surface was on fire. Analysis of pollen levels also suggests that pine forests had burned off and had been replaced by poplar trees, a species that grows in barren ground. The theory is thought to be the trigger event for the Younger Dryas period, a climate anomaly which saw gradual warming suddenly reverse. Keep watching for more catastrophic world events. It's going to be hell on Earth. Astronomers predict that all life on Earth will be wiped out in the future as the sun balloons in size and scorches the planet. Using the world's most powerful radio telescope, scientists forecast that within five billion years, the sun will grow into a red giant star, 100 times its current size. The sun will swallow up and destroy its two closest planets, Mercury and Venus. All life on Earth is likely to be destroyed, but there is a possibility the rocky core of the planet could survive. In 7 billion years, the sun will then experience intense loss of mass due to strong stellar winds that will see it evolve into a tiny white dwarf star. If the Earth's rocky core survives, it may continue to orbit the white dwarf star. The white dwarf star will be similar to Earth in size, but much heavier. One teaspoon of its matter will weigh about five tons. The astronomers' conclusions are based on examining an evolved star 208 light years away from Earth, which five billion years ago was very similar to our Sun. The scientists say an object orbiting that evolved star is likely to be a planet, and further study could offer unique insights into Earth's eventual fate. If Yellowstone blows, it's goodnight Vienna. A volcanic eruption at Yellowstone National Park would be an American natural disaster on a scale that the country has never seen. The event would potentially see millions of casualties and wipe out the West Coast, with its ashfall stretching far beyond U.S. borders. This would cause a volcanic winter, during which widespread starvation would be a threat. According to U.N. estimates, global food reserves could last only 74 days. Fortunately, the actual chances of that happening are 1 in 730,000, and America's top brains are on the case to stop it from even happening. To preempt such a catastrophe, NASA has developed a plan to drill underneath Yellowstone and pump its magma chamber full of water, extracting the heat. Cooling the magma rock would occur at a rate of one meter per year, meaning it could take thousands of years to eliminate the risk of eruption. The cost of NASA's plan is estimated to be 3.5 billion U.S. dollars. However, the space agency expects the clean energy derived from heat extraction would offset this via lower power costs and the creation of geothermal plants. This plan only covers Yellowstone. It doesn't include the other half dozen supervolcanoes in the USA or the 20 others elsewhere on the planet. But experts say they rarely blow and Yellowstone only erupts every 600,000 years. And when was the last time it blew? Around 600,000 years ago, give or take a few millennia. Earthquakes could triple in 2018. Scientists have predicted that 2018 could see up to three times as more earthquakes, but seismology experts are questioning the findings. Their prediction warns that as the Earth's rotation slows, the number of earthquakes will increase. Researchers say the planet is currently in the fourth year of these five-year periodical slowdowns. University of Colorado researcher Dr. Roger Billum warns this could see a threefold increase in earthquakes next year, from six in 2017 to 20 in 2018. The researchers studied earthquakes of magnitude 7 and higher since 1900 and found five instances of seismic increases. Most of the greater earthquakes occurred near the equator. Scientists suspect this may be because of small changes in the Earth's core, but exactly why earthquakes would respond to a slowing Earth is unknown. 
That being said, some scientists have questioned the findings. New Zealand seismology experts at the University of Otago said they don't support the findings and that the research shouldn't inspire panic. They called it another example of a fortuitous correlation between earthquake occurrence and an unrelated phenomenon. Planet X is coming. The end is nigh. Run for the freaking hills! You know how everyone's going bananas for the great American eclipse? Well, they shouldn't be, because some guy on the internet says we'll all be dead after it. Aww. Planet X, aka Nibiru, is gonna smash Earth in September 2017. That's the theory put forward by conspiracy theorist David Mead. Mead predicts that when you're done chilling with the eclipse, don't forget your special eyewear now, Earth will be slammed by Planet X. But why can't we see the supersized star? Mr. Mead says that's because it's approaching the Earth from an awkward angle. Aw, who's a shy, awkward little bringer of destruction? You are Planet X, yes, yes, you are. Mead says the only way you can see it now is if you're flying at high altitude over South America, oh, and with an excellent camera. Mr. Mead cites science and the Bible to back up his Planet X claims, but we're citing the Satanist lizard people at NASA when we call those claims a bunch of baloney. The U.S. space agency said, Nibiru and other stories about wayward planets are an internet hoax. There is no factual basis for these claims. Mm-hmm, baloney indeed.